Hey, hey, thank you for watching my channel. I am the Divine Maverick, also known as the mother of twins, helping you along your twin flame journey. If this is your first time watching, thank you so much for being here. I know that you could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to spend a little time with me. Thank you, Leo. Thank you, Taurus. Thank you, Scorpio. Thank you, Sagittarius. No particular reason why I'm calling no signs, except I'm hearing them. <laughs> Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you like the content on the channel. And also subscribe to the channel if you're not already doing that right this moment as I'm asking. It puts your energy in these card decks and it'll feel like a personal reading next time you come see a video. I'm going to already apologize out the gate, y'all. Forgive my voice. I've been talking a lot and I'm team no sleep, so a little bit raspy. This is a Twins and No Communication read. I'm going to use Identical Decks, Island Time Wellness. Divine Feminine is, of course, going to be over here with the pink. And we're going to put Divine Masculine with that wonderful, sexy black. Hey, Patreon members, thank you so much for riding with a sister. I appreciate you guys. I'm so serious. Tribe, I love you guys. Thank you so much for the way you support these videos. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. I could not do this without you. Thank you. The cards have been shuffled already. I just like to move cards in my hand. Ooh. Uh, because of things like that. Ten of Cups. Oh. Trying to let somebody know. It doesn't matter if you're not really talking to your twin. You're never... <laughs> wow. And Cindy says yes. doesn't matter if you're not really talking to your twin. There's no distance in the spirit. That's why that telepathic communication will be your friend. Until union comes. Divine Feminine. Me a card, please. Whoa. Look, Divine Feminine want to talk. There's a lot on your mind, huh? Some of the Divine Feminines are stressed out. Didn't meet the deadline. Didn't make the timeline. What timeline am I on? But, wanting very much a new phase. I'll go with that. Divine Feminine is wanting a new phase. Y'all hear the dog growling, right? Probably. <laughs> Probably feeling some kind of way about the masculine. Feeling some kind of way. Masculine wants to answer back. Those of you who are in separation, you're not in communication. This is their higher self, their 5D. Oh, and it's clearly not good. There it is. Clarity is coming. What did y'all just argue with something? Solidarity, force, honor, power, protection, revelation. So in the rose, mm -hmm. almost like the dynamic, the masculine knows that he is kind of the the cutting one, the, the sharp one. The feminine is trying to stay dainty and beautiful like that beautiful rose. So you got the sword and the rose combo. A little bit of beauty, a little bit of power. Somebody considers you beautiful and powerful, divine feminine. But I digress. This masculine is receiving clarity about how to get this new phase in that he energetically knows his divine feminine is saying is long overdue. <laughs> long overdue. This is mystery. High Priestess represents mystery. She represents secrets. And I feel like this divine feminine feels like there's a lot of secrets that are have been surrounding this connection. I feel like um, with the high priestess, she felt like she was in the dark, especially with the mysteries, what was unseen, what was hidden under the water. But I also know that the divine feminine did a lot of healing because you can see how free that high priestess looks. The high priestess is very intuitive. You could be a Pisces, but the high priestess is very intuitive and she is very free. Do you see how free that woman is? And you see how she's soaring over the water? I think her, like, maybe her big toe is in that water. But it's like, I don't need to go down into the deep. I don't need to go down. I'll just stay above. I'll just look above. So Divine Feminine, I really feel like you have just decided to go within and without. <laughs> You decided to go within and without because your masculine was too busy trying to figure out where he wanted to be. <laughs> trying to figure out what he wanted to say and how he wanted to say it. And you were just like, you know what? I'm okay. Right? You do what you want. I'm just going to be over here becoming the high priestess. 
since you don't want to talk to me or you want to see me, I'll just ascend. That's what I'll do. Surpass. Transform. Change my mind. I'll just pursue my growth. I'll just renew my mind with thoughts of peace and tranquility. You see her? Look at her. I'll just flow. I'll just follow the moon cycles. I'll just be my own light. Mm -hmm. The phoenix, because I am the phoenix. And then the masculine responds with, yeah, I know it's not the secrets. I know I need to tell you the truth. I know I left you feeling unprotected. And I know I let you think that it was all about power with me or having my way. I know I didn't give you clarity. So you definitely dealing with Pisces. Twice Pisces has come out. Yeah. But what I really want and what I'm not saying is solidarity is what I want. I do want to give you honor. <laughs> the honor that you're due. I am the sword, you are the rose. <laughs> Somebody also feels like they have to compete for you because of your beauty. Take a stand for you because you are like a delicate flower. This masculine. The dogs. Ooh. You see how they feel? Mm. You got the dogs barking. Girls. So... Hi, priestess. Oh, the secrets. I hope we can rekindle, though. That's the divine feminine secret. I might act hard. I might seem aloof. But the truth is, I hope we can rekindle. The truth is, I hope we can rebuild. I hope we can bridge the gap. <laughs> divine feminine. I hope we can, yeah. I hope we can take this leap of faith. I hope you'll head in my direction, Gemini. I hope that you'll do something you've never done before. Oh, stuck in your ways, one. Could be a Taurus, not wanting to budge, inflexible, wanting to have control. Divine Feminine said, I hope you will be a fool for me. I hope, I can only hope. And then Divine Masculine, Hmm. And there's no communication. Then divine masculine. Oof. J that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> I'm going to take the reverse and the way it flew out. Yeah. I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired of the way our communication goes. I'm tired of you going left on me. <laughs> I'm just tired of the way we communicate. And that's why I'm always preparing for a fight. That's why I'm always preparing to defend myself. That's why I'm scrutinizing every word. Because of the force in which you question me or the force in which you say things to me. Especially because I know all you want is the truth. Divine Feminine. <laughs> all the conflict is because of you with all your secrets, Five of Wands, Leo. All of this conflict is because you won't tell me what's going on. Because you act like everything is a secret. Moon, I am a mystery. And I will remain a mystery to you if you keep me in competition and conflict internally and externally. 
I'm already conflicted with myself because I keep letting you in again and again and again, says Divine Feminine. And I'm having outer conflict with you because I don't know what you want to do and you don't trust what I know we need to do. But still, Divine Feminine is the Phoenix. Still, Divine Feminine is the Phoenix. This can be rebuilt. I just saw. I need it to pop out, please. And then Divine Masculine. I'll take it. Hmm. All I want to do is take care of business, remove all the obstacles, rest, handle these obligations. You see, I have so much on my back, so much on my plate, and I'm doing my best to put things together. All eyes are on me. Nine of Wands, Sagittarius. All eyes is on the Sagittarian. What you gonna do? What's your next move? How are you gonna get yourself out of this? How are you gonna get free from all these things to go where? <laughs> Divine Masculine says, I just want a place to put these burdens down, an opportunity, space to do that. I don't want to keep hurting you. I don't want to keep disappointing you. That's why I keep leaving you. Divine Feminine says, obstacles. I just saw two of wands. <laughs> Divine Feminine says, obstacles. Obstacles. these cards, y'all. <laughs> Obstacles. Six of Wands, Leo. This Leo says, what? You know how much I've gone through, how much I've come through, how much I've overcome in the same time that you are still trying to just begin? You can tell me about obstacles. Obstacles. I'm victorious. They used to look and see what I was going to do. Now all they can do is marvel at what I've accomplished. All by myself, Divine Masculine. All by myself. I'm victorious. I'm in my power. There's no stigmas on my name. There's no shame to me. I've come through a lot while waiting on you. Waiting on me, <laughs> divine masculine. Says, waiting on me, huh? Waiting on me, huh? <laughs> you definitely don't have to wait anymore, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Because I got a message for you. I have an idea. And if you would follow my lead, I think I can lead us in the right direction. It just came to me. It came to me like, like lightning. It came to me in a dream that I was having about you. And moving things right along, as a matter of fact, speeding things up. Speeding things up. Divine Feminine. Speeding things up. <laughs> I've watched the idea of speeding things up with the tower when everything came crashing down. And then you remembered my name. Mm. 
Nine of Cups in reverse wanted to come with it. In your worst moments, you didn't reach for me. You didn't call me. You didn't let me know about your brother. You didn't let me know about the accident. You didn't let me know about you being unemployed, how they fired you. You didn't let me know anything. You just took your love back. But I'm the phoenix. And even after all that, I still love you. Because I know that tower and all those things that happened to you, all those strange, unusual, once in a blue moon kind of things that happened to you, you know, once in a blue moon, we had a blue moon last year. So it wasn't so unusual. You didn't realize that you were being divinely guided, masculine, to me. So I watched your towers, and I watched you take your love, Knight of Cups in reverse, Pisces. I watched you take your love, Cancer. I watched you take your love, Scorpio. I watched you not reach out for me in your most vulnerable times as your world was crashing down. I heard most of it through the grapevine. I didn't reach for you, Divine Masculine. There's the card. I didn't reach for you, Divine Feminine. No, I didn't. I couldn't. I was caught up and tangled up in the things I was into. I was caught up and tangled up losing money. I was turned upside down. My whole world was turning upside down. So why would I call you in that state? Why would I, <laughs> why would I let you know about the repossession? Why would I let you know about my health issues? Why would I let you know? I was caught up in my own stuff, like you said. The tower, as you call it, divine feminine. I'm the hangman. I'm a Pisces. I'm mysterious. What do you expect? When I go through, nobody's going to know that I'm going through. What else can I expect, Divine Feminine? What else can I expect? Nothing, baby. I can't expect anything. I'm just going to stand in my power because I'm a Cancer. And I'm going to keep on being balanced. I'm going to keep on loving my kids. I'm going to keep on working the work. I'm going to keep on doing my job. I'm going to keep on being beautiful. I'm going to work on these abs. I'm going to get my hair braided. I'm going to keep on working on my beach body. I'm going to keep on being me and standing in my power. Learning my lessons. And being optimistic. Because I am the phoenix. And the one thing I do know is that we belong together. So no matter how much I fuss and fight, or no matter how much I miss you, I'm not going to bow down. I'm going to keep riding in my chariot, hoping that you call so we can have this new phase because I am the phoenix. Yes, you are divine feminine, says the masculine. Yes, you are. And you better believe 
Three of Wands, Aries, I'm coming. I'm going to arrive one of these days when you least expect me, when the clouds are billowing in the sky. I'm going to arrive while you are at a beach and I'm going to sneak up on you and I'm going to put suntan lotion on your back. And you're going to think it's probably somebody else until you turn around and you see it's me. My ships are coming in. I see it. And I see you on it. And I'm ready for this expansion and this growth. I'm ready. I'm ready to make it solid. Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I want to make you my wife. You are nurturing. You are resourceful. I see who you are. Leo. Everything blossoms and blooms around you. And you never give up. And you work hard. You're trustworthy. Your children rise and call you blessed, right? Everything you touch turns to gold. Everything you look at magnifies and increases for the better. That's why when you look at me, I can't hold your gaze long. So I'm going to make you this offer. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I'm going to make you this offer. And I'm coming soon. Right now I'm healing. Sagittarius. I'm a Sagittarian. I got to heal. And I'm going to bring balance, everything you need. We're going to have passion. We're going to have love. We're going to have a colorful life. We're going to dance. We're going to travel. You're going to feel like you're on the moon because I'm going to be your son. <laughs> I'm going to shine my light on you. And you're going to reflect my glory, Divine Feminine. Thank you for having patience with me. You are everything I have ever, ever wanted. And I am so sorry that it had to be this way. But I know well enough. And I know because you are the high priestess that you know what this is all about. Ooh, one more. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> I'm going to make you my wife, Divine Feminine. And we're going to live happily ever after. That was beautiful. Oh my gosh. Those cards came out like magic. Let's get some angel guidance and get out of here, y'all. For the twins with no communication. I don't even know what to call this. Mm. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I know that's right. Clear your space. Archangel Jophiel says, get rid of clutter, clear the energy around you, and use feng shui. For the masculine, anything that is keeping him from you, divine feminine, be rested assured that he is clearing his space. He is getting rid of the clutter. 
whether that be people, places, or things. Divine Masculine, you need to know that the Divine Feminine has been nesting. Even though you are apart, she feels you coming close. She feels your energy. You might have just connected. And what she's doing now is making space for you energetically and making space for you in her physical cleaning closets and purging and getting things together. Twins and no communication. Ha! Huh. I'm going to have to change the name of this read because there's a lot of telepathic communication going. There is no distance in the spirit. Give me one card. That'll do. Right there. That's the one. That's the one. Forgiving and learning. As you forgive, I'm sorry, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Ooh, I love it. All right, y'all. That was beautiful. Thanks for watching. Till we meet again, guys, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye.